Dude, I just noticed how crooked my camera is on the screen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday. Bringing you journal content and videos. Um, I hope everybody had a good day today. I hope everybody had a good day yesterday. Sorry, I didn't go live. I just felt so sleepy, like at 10 o'clock on the dot. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm back today. We are here to make some fun Franken paper book page envelopes, I believe is what I called it. Hi, Miss Beverly. How are you, girlfriend? Hey, Patricia. Uh, so I just basically glued down some scraps of paper to the to the page to the page of a recipe book um here's what the pages originally look like follow there all i did was cut off this part right here my allergies are killing me right now so if you hear any mute it's probably because i'm sneezing one moment I forgot to take my allergy pill last night. So, um, again, this is just a book page. This is not a vintage uh, book or anything, so it's a nice, strong page. Cut this part off right here. It could be any size, really. And then all I did was figured out that this is where I want the bottom part of the envelope to be. And then I always leave a little gap right here, and then that's the top part. And there's not much else to it. I just sew everything on top. So... That's just what I'm going to be doing. I got one here that I'm working on. So I think I'm going to collage these by color. So these are going to be pink and I'm going to do some brown ones probably at another time. But this sounds like a good project to use up some scrappy dues. So I'm going to make some pink ones here. My nose, y'all, my nose. I forgot to take my allergy pill. I just, if I take my allergy pill, I'm good. But I completely forgot. So I got my little scrappy dudes right here I'm picking from. I went through all of my pages the other day, all my scraps here, and I kind of uh, picked out the pinkier ones. <laughs> I would do this brown one here, that'd be cute. I'm just using a little bit of <coughs> glue stick. And I'm put, only putting the glue stick in the middle. Because I do plan to sew on this, so I don't want to get my sewing machine all gonked up. These go back into the scrap pile. Hmm. Okay. So now that I got the back collage, and with the scrap of paper here, the, the nice strong book page, it makes it a nice sturdy envelope. So that's nice. Okay, I got my sewing machine here, and um, I'm just going to do a zigzag. I'm just going to follow all the edges of the paper. a fun way that I could use up some scraps. Last time that I made these envelopes, I had just like a piece of white paper that was just like this size. Um, but this time I was like, well, I don't have any more of that. So what should I do? So that's when I grabbed, <clears throat> well, that's when I noticed I had this recipe book paper on my desk. Huh? Also, a good way to use my book pages. Okay, I got this one here in the middle. Okay, 
Okay, so after we get all that done, I do go ahead and I take a moment to cut off all the threads. Eh, got stuck on my nail. You could, I guess, leave the threads on. It just gets difficult to try and sew with all these threads everywhere. So it's just, just not a product that I have too many threads on. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is this part up here is the right way. So hang on, my paper looks crooked right there. I don't like that. So I'm just going to. I don't use this paper cutter anymore. Do I have to clean it here? I don't know why it gets stuck like that. Oof, now I see why I don't use this. Okay, anyways. So I believe I scored it at five and a quarter first. Although, like I said, the number doesn't matter because you might not have the same paper as me. Um, five and a quarter. quarter. And then, like I said, right here, I just, from this part right here, I just left a couple uh, lines, probably about half inch. And then fold that part down. Just like that. Oh, Franken paper is so much fun. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. <laughs> let's see. Let's put there's nothing, there's nothing more enjoyable than just gluing paper together, you know? And then I cut this little notch like that. And that's my little envelope. So we got a little bit more sewing to do on it. First, I'm going to sew what is essentially the, the lip part of the envelope. Just because I don't want it to be too frail right there. Plus, I didn't add glue. A little bit blue on the screen. I don't know. Anyways, I mean yellow. I was yellow. Okay, so I do that part first. And then I close it. And now we're going to sew all the way around. Nope, my hair fell out. Hang on. Got a little messed up right there. But that's okay. Franken paper, everything is fun. Franken tags, Franken envelopes, just Franken pages. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's try this again. Let's try it again. And again. And I'm just using my um zigzag thread. I mean zigzag stitch. Come on now, why are you messing up on me? I'm not really surprised my sewing machine always does this. Oops. I have thought about maybe getting a new machine, but like, I don't know which one would be better or anything like that. Plus, I'm not like professional, I'm not like making clothes or anything. So I feel like anything more than this 
sewing machine is just too much. That's just how I feel. I've had it for um, four years, four or five years, so it is due for an upgrade maybe, but I can it feels unnecessary. Because it could just be the thread I'm using because it's really cheap. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else's sewing machine does that, just pops a thread off the needle. Like I said, I don't know if it's my machine, I don't know if it's something I'm doing, or thread. I don't know if this happens to everybody. It gets serviced. My sewing machine gets serviced every two years. But for whatever reason, it's pretty much always popped the thread out. And I've pretty much always used the same cheap thread. <laughs> so that could be the issue. It was just serviced, Miss Beverly. It was just serviced um, during Thanksgiving. During Thanksgiving. Okay, so let's do this one. Marty, hi Marty. You said it happens to you too. Okay, okay, because I wasn't sure. Like, is a more expensive machine not going to do that? But okay. It might just be the thread, right? It might just be because I use cheap thread. Which I'm fine with. Like I said, it's just like a little like a little side effect. <laughs> it's just a little little hiccup it has. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> well, maybe. I've actually had my microphone in the same spot for the last two years. But it's possible. Somebody else mentioned about my getting my machine service. And I was just like, <sighs> last time that happened, somebody mentioned it. It actually didn't need to be serviced. But this last time somebody mentioned it, it had just got service. So I didn't know if that maybe they meant the same thing that you do. It's loud or something. I don't know. Sounds fine to me. When it needs to be serviced to me, as far as when I know that it needs to be serviced, is when um, it starts sounding very, like, sandpapery, very grinding, dry grinding sound, then that's usually a sign that it needs to get serviced. I could find one piece that would fit here that would be best. Here we go. Here's this. No, too short. It'll have to be this. Okay. Sorry about my nose, you guys. I almost didn't go live because I'm so sneezy. Look at the pink envelopes. They look so cute. Alright. I'm going to bring up my big paper cutter because that little one. It's getting on my nerves. Oh, yeah. That's why I have this one. This little one is just weird sometimes. I've never found like a little. This is like the best paper cutter I've ever had in my life. Um, any other paper cutter, I don't know. Is somebody there too flimsy? I don't know. This one's just so solid. It's great, but sometimes it's just too heavy. And I don't really want to lift it around. Okay, one more. Marty, yes, this is Franken paper. You know, uh, basically, you know, Frankenstein. <laughs> He's a bunch of parts. So that's kind of the idea of Franken paper. So Franken paper is basically this, just you kind of putting pages down, like scraps down. 
to make a new paper, you know? So you can do take this idea, make smaller pieces. You can cut it into tags. I've basically just fold this in half and use them as pages. In this case, I'm gonna make these into envelopes. So yes, that is the, the that's the Franken in Franken paper. It's just a fun mix of papers, your scraps. Stitches, I just like the stitches. <laughs> I just like it. So I just stitched up. Okay. So I'm gonna cut off all the edges. I mean all the threads. Get on my nerves. Okay, 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 okay. Now score it. Again, um, these measurements don't matter because your paper might be different. So what you want to do is, in essence, is you want to fold this up so you have a nice size flap, right? So whatever size you get for that. For me, it was five and a quarter. That's my bottom flap right here. And then the space from the bottom part and the top, I put in like half inch. And then that's the flat part. And then like you have this space right here. Okay. And then you could either leave it like that if that's what you want to do. I kind of... You could just barely nip the corners, like that makes the little envelope shape that I like. Okay, so let's see. Um, <laughs> Marty. Uh, let's see, my mom was like, you don't, don't you do, you don't do journals anymore. I'm like, yes, mom. She's hinting to me, so I'm going to make a journal or two. There you go. There you go. So don't forget to follow Miss Beverly Creates. Hey, Zena, what's up, lady? So this bottom part here, just because I like it, I just like that. Now I'm going to sew all the way around. And I just got a zigzag here. I'm at a two length and five width. So it's a nice long wide stitch. <laughs> Thank you. 
course, you can make these themed if you wanted to, if you have a bunch of uh, Christmas scrapbooks in there. They really do fit for any theme that you want to do. And there goes my thread. On the last little part, my quill. Last little part, then we're done with this one. All right, this one looks really cute. Real shabby chic moment. I love it. Except these threads, though. Oh, I have so much scraps. I really need to make a lot of these, possibly put in my shop. I just, I'm drowning in scraps, y'all, so I gotta do this. But again, this is just a book page that I collaged on. I should have used this part here for the top, but that's fine. I just, uh, I should have used the other side because you see how this one has like a little recipe right here, and this one's down here on this part. <laughs> But this one looks really cute. Like I said, fun for little scraps, but it's also a little bit more fun with big scraps because you get them done faster. Okay. Okay. This is the next one. I was hoping you were making a home for your shop. Um, I don't have any of these ready. This I, don't, I literally have four. <laughs> I put stuff in my shop when I have a lot of it. So I'll get to work on it. I will get to work. I'm planning a lot of things for my shop. But I just, you know, I gotta make it. I gotta make it first. So that sucks. <laughs> so that's the worst. But thank you, Marty. For wanting the support. I appreciate it, girl. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> trying. There's so much to do and so little time, you guys. Like, honestly. Honestly, there's not enough time. There we go. And got this one. You can have some fun ones going this way, too. It's always fun. It's a lot easier to do when you leave a little bit overage. Um, that's always a good idea to do. So that way you don't have to make everything perfect. Here's a little bit of red. We could put a little bit of red in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, a recipe book. Um, it's not vintage or anything, so it's nice and strong. Don't use vintage paper as your base for this. Trust me. Trust me, ask me how I know, don't do it. Use a newer book page. Nice, strong, flexible book page. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, okay? I've, I've done this on very frail papers thinking, oh, this might save it. No, it won't do it. It won't save it. <laughs> don't my your Let's see here. <laughs> Oh, yes, this cherry book. It's all cherries right here. I need a little piece of something, something over here. I'll cover it up with this thing. There we go. Okay. Let me get my... 
see if I cut her out. I don't know what I've had. I feel like I've had every paper cutter in the book, like those $20, like those $15 to $20 paper cutters. They don't seem to last me very long. Somehow I always end up cutting crooked. Maybe I have crooked eyes. I don't know. Maybe my hands are uneven. I don't know, but they always end up cutting crooked for me. So I always going back to this one. Like I said, it's, it's good, but it's just a little heavy sometimes. So I like lug around <laughs> and move it around and stuff. Okay, so let's get to the sewing machine here. Honestly, I would sit here and collage a bunch of papers before I do this part. But, you know, when we're live, we want to do it all in one go. <laughs> but normally I'd sit here and I'd watch TV and I would just glue paper down. Yes, I love my paper cutter. It's just, like I said, I wish it was a little bit more lightweight, but obviously for what it does, I get it. <laughs> and everybody always recommended the Stamping Up paper cutter. So I, I want to say I had one of those two uh, for a while. But it just, I don't know. Ever since I got this, the big one, it's like all the little ones. They just don't cut it. Ah. They just they they I don't know. There's too they're too flimsy. The, the like twenty dollar ones. So I thought maybe the Stampin' Up because I think it's like thirty forty dollars. I thought it might be better, but mm, it was only good for so long. For so long. Okay. Okay, so I said five and a quarter, but I'm scoring it. Ooh, tomorrow's game night. I'm excited for game night. Oh, oh, oh. See, I should have done it this way, but you know what? There's text here to Olive. Olive, I gotta pay attention next time though. Okay, so there's that. So go down. Let me put it together like such. Let me cut up the corners. And there we go. Hi, Miss Tanya. I'm going to sew this part here first. How you been, Miss Tanya? Okay, now we sew the whole thing. Yep, that's where I just popped up. 
Miss Patricia's the best. She she likes everybody because she's the best. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we're working again. I think I'm going to make the switch over to Vaseline chopsticks. <laughs> Nobody asked, but... <laughs> Instead of chapstick, chapstick, I think I'm going to go with Vaseline brand. I don't know what it's been about. I've been hooked on chopsticks for so long. It's a different change. Different change. Okay. Like I said, if you use big pieces, they get kind of get done faster. But of course, it just depends on your scraps, what you get, what you're working with. But these come together pretty quickly. See her spy already that I have. Using up those scraps, you guys. You gotta use them up. And I will literally, I'll have a whole stash like these for a long time. I'll make like 50 of them. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Again, these are my pink scraps. Well, that I found in one bag. I'm sure there's other bags. Scraps always hide. They always multiply. So I'm sure there's other places. I think mine kept doing that. My hair wasn't unraveling right or something. I don't know. I mean, I've used different threads. So I've used different. It still does it. Different thread brown still doesn't. So I don't know. Just don't know. I think some of these are from the same paper pad. So they work out pretty nice. Over here, let's see what we do over here. I don't know. What do we got? Here's this. Um, this little piece right here. It's a little purpley, but that's okay. <laughs> Is okay. Okay. Good, that looks messy. Okay. Y'all, I don't know why I keep listening to Britney Spears. I have been on a Britney Spears kick. Like, that's all I want to listen to. <laughs> Her and the Spice Girl, I don't know why. Like, that's all. Just hit me with it again. That's all I want. I'm going to pretend it's like, when did that song come out? Like, early 2000s. I want to pretend I'm Britney Spears. Okay, that's all I want. I want to just be Britney. Okay, there's that. 
Veronica, hi Veronica. Hola. From Easy, working on my Valentine's Day drunk girls too. Hey. Will I get it done in time for Valentine's Day? Let's cross our fingers. <laughs> get started on designing fall printables because I've never done a fall journal and I know that I get started on it in spring or I won't finish. Ha <laughs> ha. I will not finish. It's just really hard for me to uh, almost like concentrate on one thing at a time because I have like my mind racing and I want to make 10 million things all at one time. So... <laughs> That's why I have to start ahead of time so that way I can I can work on other stuff and then get back on my fall stuff and work on other stuff, get back on fall stuff. Just have it for me. I get bored working on one thing for too long, so that's why sometimes I, I won't even finish projects. I've had people like ask me like, Hey, did you ever finish that journal? I'd be like, No. That's just real life. This is my, 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 uh, uh, this is not scripted. So if I don't get it done, I just don't get it done. And we'll get back to it later on. I have a couple projects I never finished. I think I have an Easter journal from like two years ago I never finished. It is. It's that way. How's the weather? Oh, the weather's so nice. Cheryl, hi Cheryl. The weather's so nice right now. Um, like the coldest I think it gets at night is about 30 degrees, 30, 35 degrees. And then during the day, it's been like 65, 70. It's been great. That's why everybody put, like I, just everybody, <laughs> Everybody posting snow pictures. I'm just like, I don't understand what is happening. <laughs> Why do you live there? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I love it. But obviously to me, anything below 75 is freezing cold. So even if it's like only 55 degrees, I'm freezing. So it's been... <laughs> But it hasn't even been that cold this winter. So that's good. I don't like cold. I really don't like the cold. Such a baby. Is that where I should have done? No, see, I need to do it this way. This is where I need to score it over here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Because I want this to show. It's part of the envelope. And then I get half inch here. Okay, that folds down, and then we get it over here, we'll cut off the edges, like that. Is the strip back to normal? Yeah, girl, that leaves casinos. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what right now. These casinos... When they were closed, nobody complained. Nobody complained. Like, honestly, the casinos had nothing to say. You close this down, you close this down. They had nothing to say. Everybody was like, oh, Vegas is, is going to be over. and Nobody's going to come back. I knew those people couldn't wait. <laughs> those people could not wait to come back. As soon as I said they're open, it's like we were back full speed. These casinos have been making a billion dollars every month. So they're good. They're good. They're good. They're almost, I'm going to say they're almost back to normal, but you know, what do I know? They show sure making money. They're sure making their money. No complaints from them, okay? I've and, and ne never heard them complain. Everybody else complained, obviously, because they had their job, but those casinos never complained.
yeah, the sun's always shining here. Oh, yeah. We have almost, we, I think they said we have like 340 uh, sunny days a year or something. Like, that's why we have so many military things going on out here, military tests and flying tests and everything. They test a lot of aircraft out here because it's almost guaranteed that we're going to have a sunny day. So the army loves to test like uh, airplanes and stuff like that. Yeah, any day of the year, it's like guaranteed to be sunny. There's hardly a cloudy days like ever. Hardly, hardly any cloudy. Fire scraps so pretty. Heart makes the weather sunny there on purpose. Well, perhaps they're doing a good job at it. I don't think the desert needs help to be hot. <laughs> if anything, they should test some cool weather techniques. <laughs> That's what they should do, because they're burning us alive when it's hot. Oh, my God, when it's hot. I wish I was anywhere else. Not really, because Arizona's hotter. <laughs> Arizona is hot. It's hot here, but I'm always like, I could, be in, I could be in Arizona. Could be hotter. It could be hotter. <laughs> Okay, there we go. This one's done. Call it a night on that one. Uh, let's see. He moved back to Michigan a year and a half ago. Sometimes I just want to go to Lucille's and walk around the district or Fremont Street. Not on the weekend. <laughs> yes. I like, I like living here. I really do. I don't mind it. I, the heat... I mean, I am uh, fortunate enough to not really have to go out into the heat. I don't work in the heat. I never have. My dad does. So I don't know how he does it. He's actually about over it because <laughs> he's moving, so he's over it. But uh, I like living here. I really do. We did a convention there with Sensi. Oh, yes, Sensi. I, I used to work conventions. I've never worked at I believe I've worked Amway. Amway net. Some weight loss something. I can't remember what their name was. Um, okay, so there's this. Let's do the next one. I'm also planning on sewing a bunch of uh, these little pockets again because I sold out of these. Um, so these are ready. I made some of these for Christmas too. I'm working on some Christmas index cards. I got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. A lot of planned projects. A lot of work for my future self. That's what I'm doing. Planning a lot of work for my future self. Okay. 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 Let's keep this going here. Oh, you're moving back to Arizona? Cool. Uh, Let's see. If you have family there, I get it. I just don't know. I mean, I have family in Arizona, too. That's why I know how hot it is there. <laughs> Been there, done that. I have a lot of family in Yuma, Arizona. I've spent, spent some time in Yuma. I have family there. And I think I have a cousin in Flagstaff. Or is it Phoenix? No, it's Phoenix. Phoenix, yeah, it's Phoenix. 
And my husband actually has a cousin, I believe in Prescott. And we said we're going to go visit her sometime. So she lives in Prescott. I've never been to Prescott. I don't know where it is. I don't think I've ever been to Phoenix either. Is Sedona in Arizona? Everybody keeps talking about Sedona. Sedona this, Sedona that. I don't think it's about Sedona. Uh, I love summer, but I'm not fond of <laughs> She said. <laughs> I went out in June once. And it was 115. There is a solid week. A solid week of 115 to 117 degree weather. That's here in Vegas. In Arizona, that could be upwards of a month solid of 115 degree weather. It's a thing. I don't know why it's a thing, but it's a thing. Uh, every July, we have a solid week of about 115. And I believe they said last, last uh, summer, it got up to 117. And uh, I'm so worried. I always worry about my dad during the summer because this is not a joke, y'all. It is not a joke. This heat will take you out. <laughs> not a joke. Not a joke, just a fact. Okay. Okay, gotta go there. So this is what I'm working with here. It's a little weird. It's a little funky. But so am I. Okay, okay. Get my paper cutter out here. Sedona is pretty. Sedona is gorgeous and AC. Ooh, I want to go there when it's not hot. So I'll probably meet me around now at the right time. We'll see. Everybody, every, I'm talking. Talk about everybody is talking about Sedona. baking cookies in a car before. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Y'all are too much for that. I have too much time. Oh, I'm not a bother. I was like, what is happening? And of course, you could do any colored thread that you want. It doesn't have to match at all. I probably will switch over to brown at one point because the brown will look cute against the pink. I got kind of a hot pink in here. It's not really a hot pink, it's just pink. Sun had low vitamin D. Said how you were in sun study because we don't go out outside all summer. Yeah, I honestly I hate leaving my house during summer. I don't like to leave my and during summer. I if the sun is up, I don't like to go out. I'd really rather go out when the sun is down. Like honestly. I live here, but I'm still I'm still not used to the heat. I really hate the heat. But I hate the cold even more. <laughs> I hate the cold and snow even more than I would the summer at all. I completely like I'd rather deal with 115 degree weather than deal with one day of snow. <laughs> I couldn't. I, or maybe if I didn't have to leave my house when it snowed, you know, that's that's fine. 
But then you got to leave the house. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No, nope, not going to happen. Not gonna happen to me. And I'm telling we have snow. We can I could go to the snow. It's half hour away. I could I could go there, I could touch it, I could play with it, I could be there. But honestly, after being there for five minutes, I'm like, all right, let's go home. It's cold. Like honestly, like I don't want to. this is not fun anymore. It's cold. What what do we do? <laughs> what are we doing? It's cold. Okay, sure, you have a good night, girlfriend. We are almost done here. Just gonna finish the week. Okay, we're, no, no, that's not what I wanted to buy. This part here with the text, I want that to be at the top, so Daisy. It's like the fifth time you say that. Mm -hmm. This time I paid attention. Okay. Half inch from here. Half inch. And that's our bottom flap. All right. Put these together right here is where I'm looking at this line right here. That's where I make sure. And then I just cut off just the corners. Just the little corners. These are fun, so it doesn't feel so time consuming, but I know they are. <laughs> this doesn't feel like it because I feel like I'm having fun. My Charles. What do you mean, my Charles? Wait, what am I reading wrong? Marty. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Charleston, Mount Charleston. Yeah, it's 30 minutes away. I could go there, but I don't want to. <laughs> Every time I go there, it's because my mom invited some, some family member who's visiting to go out there. Uh, and I'll go, but like I said, after five minutes, I'm like, all right, that's enough of that. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for me tonight. We got a couple of these done. I had a lot of fun. And we'll come back and have more fun on Monday. Uh, still working on, <clears throat> I'm running out of time, but uh, we're still working on that valent on those Valentine's Day junk journals. This is gonna be part of them, cause you know, pink. So it'll be part of that. So I hope everybody has a good night. I'm gonna come back uh, on Monday and we'll hang out. Um, thank you, everybody, so much for your support in my shop. If you are looking for junk journal printables, please check me out over at snowmeatrose.net. I am on Etsy. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate everybody's company. And we'll be back on Monday to have more fun. Bye. Good night. Have a good weekend.